Hello, hello, hello! Again, people, we are once... <laughs> I said that wrong. Once again, we are in the nether for episode 20, part 2 of the lovely little nether uh, adventure, I guess we can call it. Yeah? Okay, we'll call it that. Uh, you know, I am really, really, really loving the decision I made about the, the bone blocks and using them as fossils. It was like making it a rib cage. I really like that idea. That's super cool. Man, yeah, I was so glad I went with that. Uh, Alright, well, in, well, the last episode we did all of this loveliness. Plus we wasted a little obsidian and made that, well, I don't want to say pointless because sooner or later, I think probably off camera, I'll just explore and see where exactly on the map or a map. I'll have to bring a map with me that um that nether portal takes me so that way maybe it's even close to a mess of biome which i'm really 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 hoping it is um i added some glowstones to the floor right in front and it's definitely giving off some light better light than um just putting them at the top so yeah i'm liking that this place looks awesome um, I'm probably definitely going to decorate it more as the time goes by, or when I do have the time to come in and decorate it. Uh, I don't know what else I can decorate it with. I might just mine out the rest of the nether rack on the top and just kind of let the bedrock show through. I don't know. I'll keep thinking about it, though. But for this episode, we are going to actually break that lovely... Well, I don't want to say lovely, but... Uh, weird looking rock bedrock <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna break it and get to the top of the nether and there we're gonna kill some pigs man get it I'm smiling as I said that because I think I'm so clever but I'm not <laughs> uh, yeah we are gonna try and make a pig farm and I think I'm gonna go with a completely different design um, in this world because I did go for more of a, um, they kind of, they fall and die <laughs> design in my, uh, my last, uh, survival world. And I think I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try something different. So it's mainly going to be a pig, a uh, gold farm, but also an XP farm. So I'm going to get to kill the pigman while also collecting, uh, the beautiful, beautiful gold to drop. So, looking forward to that. But first, we are going to break some bedrock. And there is a technique that this YouTuber, by the name of, I think I wrote it down somewhere, Frilly, Frillyeth? Frillyoth? I, I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but sorry. <laughs> F-R-I-L-I-O-T-H. Pretty sure that everyone knows him, but... Um, he had a really, really simple way of breaking the bedrock compared to a lot of other people that I've watched, so I think I want to go with his way. Does it make sense? But, yeah. And I already tested it out in my uh, creative world earlier today, so it does actually work for 115, or shall I say, uh, 1.60 <laughs> we're we're also in the new snap uh snapshot yeah snapshot <laughs> sorry zero seven a um so far there aren't any real big changes on the other world i mean outer world overworld whatever you want to call it <laughs> on the overworld um, but I do know that there have been a lot a lot of changes to the nether as far as new blocks new um new spawns, evil spawns, or whatever you want to call them, uh, piglins, hoglins, um, they seem like jerks, they seem like jerks, I've watched a crap ton of videos, and I say a crap ton, of, um, nether update videos, and everyone's talking about it, and all the changes, and everyone that's there, I knew another one would spawn back there, another freaking pig man, you're lucky bro, I'm lucky, 
but yeah um so i figure that it was a good thing that i moved my nether portal up here because the piglins um don't attack you if you're wearing gold so i would actually have to remember to put on a piece of gold either a helmet or shoes or pants or a chest plate or something before i came into the nether or else they would have uh, killed me straight up <laughs> um so yeah that's not fun and on top of that the hoglins those jerks um they basically shoot you in the air kind of the same way that the dragon does but with less force but if you are standing next to a cliff overlooking lava yeah um yeah that's it's that's not good <laughs> <laughs> that is that is nowhere near good <laughs> um but yeah and uh we got the the warped the warped uh forest is that what we're calling it forest yeah the warped forest we got the well crap was it crimson forest um they all look really cool i think i would most likely rather be in the warped forest only because no gas actually spawned there but something better enderman so that's actually pretty cool, because that could use some more ender pearls <laughs> um, for, you know, the future episodes of Finding the End. So that's going to be fun. But, yeah, 116 actually looks pretty cool. I'm glad they focused on the nether, because the nether, I feel, has been the same for a long time. And it's definitely needed um, a really cool update. So that's really cool. I'm glad that we finally got one, and I'm glad that you know, everyone likes it, and that it's working out well, um, that netherite, though, oh, I am not looking forward to trying to find that shit, <laughs> that is nothing like trying to find diamonds, to be honest with you, it looks like you're gonna find less than, than you would with diamonds, diamonds, you get lucky enough, you find maybe, like, seven sometimes, or, like, five sometimes, netherite, at least the blocks, it, or, I'm sorry, not netherite, but the ancient debris looks like it only ever comes in like two or three. So you'd be mining for hours below lava ocean or somewhere in the nether after a certain certain level just to find that shit. Ah, uh, I don't even like spending this much time in the nether. Why would I want to spend that much time in the nether? Oh man, I'm not looking forward to that. But the armor looks cool. The weapons, they deal so much more damage. The armor, I don't know. Netherite just has me pulling out my hair, and I don't like that. So, hmm. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's let's get to this uh, bedrock breaking. Okay. So, what Frilliaf was saying was, you want to find a block. That you are looking at that is 127 which i have right there looking at block negative 21 127 and 11. i wrote down the x and the z coordinates for when we get to the top that way we can uh, place a block on it so he says find a block that is that you're looking at 127 and you want to make sure that the block next to it is empty so that way you can kind of use it to let's get up there so you can kind of use the block next to you to get up there, but also have a block that's looking straight down onto your nether hub or wherever you're trying to get straight down from the top of the nether. So this is the block I'm definitely going to break. These are the blocks right next to it. I got lucky with finding two next to it that I'm going to use to get up there. So you want to place down a slab. Let's turn that off. And then this is where you're going to use your your ender pearl to help you actually get up there because you're gonna take a little bit of damage as far as when you throw it because you'll end up at least halfway into the top of the nether but all you have to do is jump up and you're basically there so ooh, let's give it a try oh whoa that actually worked. Holy crap. Okay, so let's turn this back on and find negative 21 and 11. And here we are, right here. And that is a block that we are going to be breaking, or at least the one below it. 
Okay, so I got up, I'm up here now. I placed a block down for us to remember exactly where exactly which bedrock we want to break. This one will be broken once I place, you know, all of the necessary blocks around it. So we're gonna be breaking the block under it, not this one. So here is the chest I brought along with me. I didn't show you earlier, I kind of forgot to do that <laughs> right before we got up here. But here is pretty much everything you're going to need besides I brought extra obsidian off camera I went sounds like there's a gas up here but there can't be so creepy so freaking creepy but I brought extra obsidian just to make sure that even if this doesn't work we can always find our way back to the overworld which I brought a natural flat steel you're gonna need levers some redstone dust slime blocks uh mine cart with tnt in it at least three extra um sticky pistons regular pistons you will need these exact numbers as far as comparators and repeaters go and then at least one activator rail but you know bring extra just in case um redstone you know ender pearls and then building blocks so let's actually get started we're gonna need a piston, a sticky piston, and then we're gonna need these in a group to take the rest. Um, obsidians. Oh. No, we'll do that first. <clears throat> I really can't believe that mushrooms actually sprout up here. It's really weird. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually place a piston facing into this block that way. And then a sticky piston facing into it that way. And then you can break it. So now you want to lay down at least five, well not at least, but five obsidian blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to lay down another five going in this direction. So it's going to be an L if you're looking at it from this direction. So that's two. And it should look like that. Yeah. From this point, you're going to want to put them just like this, facing this way. But you're going to want to make sure you put them all the way four ticks, or else this won't work. And then you want to do the same on this side. Stopping just before you get to that. Now we're gonna want to put the lever down over here, and then your activator rail will go right in front of where your lever is. A regular block, just like that. So then, with everything, oh, and you also need to put a piece of redstone dust so that way these, where these uh, repeaters connect into each other and feed all the way over here. So you want to just double check that everything is up to the four ticks because if it's not it won't work and you will be low on supplies because you would have wasted one TNT and it wouldn't have worked on the piston. And seeing as I only brought I think three with me, you definitely don't want to waste these things waste these things <laughs> okay so you're gonna want to flick this and it'll send a pulse all the way and right as this one pulses out it should blow off now I'm not even sure now it did work in my creative world so hopefully which was in the same snapshot as this world my survival world so hopefully it works here as well if not I did bring two other but all my fingers are crossed that it does work because if this one doesn't work then there is an even bigger chance possibly that the other two won't work and I'll have to mine out all of this obsidian and go back to the overworld try and find my home <laughs> and basically start all over so yeah that won't be fun but hopefully cross our fingers all right let's flip this lever and go away. 
and it worked look at that it worked that's so cool okay so before you flick the lever off you want to come back and grab a redstone oh, redstone block and you want to place it right on top now the redstone block will actually keep the piston from retracting another piece so you see everything's gone out pulse is gone and the piece hasn't come back so yay for that so now we're gonna need to go back and grab a second TNT and we're gonna do actually the exact same thing except first let's grab some more redstone dust because we're gonna need to place this dust going into the next piston the sticky piston so so it's gonna look just like this just the two and it's gonna feed into this one so right when that blows off we'll have to put another redstone block on top of it before we hit the lever so let's hit the lever and let's go away go away and it's worked yay we're gonna need to place that up there and then flick that off and you've basically just done the impossible <laughs> and then after taking down all of that stuff you're going to want to grab the extra regular pistons that there should keep the keep the comparators with you and the repeaters Oh, and this is where you also will need the slime blocks. You want to run those. So over here, where the block is, where you want to just the block where you want to just <laughs> the block that you want to break. Stick, basically a sticky piston. I mean a piston. And over here, you're gonna to want to go up higher than this one. I believe that's good. Yeah. Because then you're going to want to put a piston here, yeah, a piston here, and a piston below that that will push it down to right here. So I'm going to place another one. Oh, crap. Just like that. And then you want to take, uh, did I put that away? Okay. Then you want to take your redstone block, stick it on just like that, break it, and then you got that. Of course, I forgot the very important thing. Before you place those down, you want a sticky piston that will face into the slime block itself. So, at least one block away right there. And then four blocks that will. Oops. Well, it doesn't really matter, but you just want to have the floor. I mean, the four. And it should basically look just like this. So, this is where these numbers come in handy because these are the exact numbers. So, first, you want to put a comparator just like that, then a repeater, then a comparator then a repeater, and then, oh, oh, repeater, repeater, comparator, comparator, just like that, in that order, no ticks added on, just the same, it's the normal look of the, pe of the repeaters and the comparators, so nothing added, nothing, you know, nothing like that. Oh, and then you want to take your redstone dust and lay it just along there. And then place down place down your lever if you have it on you, which you should. Don't be like me. You're going to want to place your lever basically right here in front of the redstone dust so it feeds right into it. So now we're going to flip this 
and everything's turned on. So, but we want to come around here. Nothing's going to happen. Only, you know, that one's going to retract. That's pretty much it. But first, before anything big happens, you want to get rid of these redstones. And then come back over to the liver and cross your fingers because this is where the magic is going to happen, folks. You want to hit the lever and... Now let's actually see if it works. Cross your fingers, because you see how the the pistons, how the wood part came back? Yeah. Woo, cross your fingers. And it worked. Look at that. It actually worked. Oh, man, that's so cool. Okay, I mean, the same excitement I had when I did it in my creative world, but actually getting to do it in, in my survival work was just as cool. Oh, that's so cool. And it's a good thing I brought the ladders with me. They're over there. <laughs> so now you can basically tear down everything up here and you've just made yourself a, a cool ass... Oh, I'll drop that down there. I'll get it. A cool ass way to get up to the top of the nether. That was fun. A little, little nerve wracking though. Because <laughs> I was so worried it wasn't going to work. Like, just because you do things in... Oh, I like the way that sounds. That's weird. Just because you do things in the, uh... In the creative world doesn't always mean the stuff is going to work out as well. In your survival world. So, for now, I'm going to leave... Except for these, and except for this. I can leave that up there. Now we are going to... Get our way back down. Yep. And now we have our way up and out of the freaking top of the nether. Put some lights around here. Let's put this one out here. And then we'll put one over here, drop that off. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. Let's kill some pigmen. <laughs> okay, now that we have made it up to the top of the nether, as lovely as this place is, now we're going to get to building the gold farm. Because we're going to kill some pigs, man. <laughs> uh, I know that's so lame. I know. I know. Don't kill me. I know. Okay, so following the video that I saw from Frillioth, I think it's, yeah, Frillioth is his name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but yeah. <laughs> um. I've built one other version of a gold farm in another world, so now I want to try a different one. So, and I liked his, it was really, it's actually pretty simple. You don't have to use like a crap ton of different blocks. Well, uh, I guess, you know, in a way, in a way you do, but <laughs> um, we're going to go with his version. I'm going to tweak it a little to fit my own type of idea, but in general, we're going with his idea. Um, link in the description to that per to that video as well as the breaking the bedrock video because I also watched a video he made on that. So right now we are at level 128, and he suggests that we go to 225 would be the level, and that is what we are gonna do. I will meet you up there. All right, we have made it to level 225. Yay. <laughs> and with, like, some scaffolds left over. So first, I'm actually going to head back down and get some more scaffolds. Because we're going to need those as we continue to go up to build the pigment platform. Okay, we're back up top. So we're going to put down a slab, and from there we're going to count out four, 
with being extra careful. No, okay. I just wanted to make sure I was putting down shift because this is scary. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna come out and make a little extra. Oops. I was doing that. It like that. Okay. And then from here we're going to put the actual chest over on this side. So it's leaving a little room. We want to put one here. come back down at least one because we need um we need to fill out the rest of the hoppers which did I not bring enough hoppers of course not that's great okay well we're gonna fill out that part anyway always be prepared guys <laughs> so we're gonna fill out this we're gonna get to where the hoppers are and this will be where you add one more slab and then from there, from there, that's when you do a three by three of the hoppers. So let me go back down and get actually some more hoppers. So I did make one small mistake. You uh, you wanted. To have your slabs I forget I'm on a freaking bamboo <laughs> uh, you want to have your slabs at least around the halfway point of your chest of your if you're doing four chests you want it at the halfway point of your third chest because then you have the option of putting maybe another one up here but then I'm thinking that you should probably definitely use four because or, I mean, you're gonna get a lot of gold, so you might as well just stock up with the chest and, you know, come and empty these out every so often. Okay, so, anyway. We're gonna get up here. I'm actually going to turn this block into a regular block because I need it to get up here. Because we're gonna start putting the rest of these... do a three by three so something I had actually forgotten that I had to go back to the house and get was carpet so that way you don't lose any XP while you are killing the pigs Okay, so next, we're actually going to want to build a glass barrier. Seriously? Did I drop it all the way down there? I don't think I did. Hopefully I didn't. Um... Let's put that up there. I also bought some colored glass with me. Just um, to kind of break up the regular, you know, clear glass. And, you know, I'm going with the, the pigment colors. They also have gray in there, but I figured that the clear would be, you know, it'd be all right. <laughs> so you want to build... Oh, how much glass do I have? Okay. So you want to build this glass tower around the hoppers up to Y250 and also set up um, your bamboo to already be at Y50 so that way you can get back down. Okay. 
Yeah, you should have actually filled in <laughs> all of those spots. I don't know why I didn't do that, but it's nothing that you can't fill fill in once you like go down the uh, scaffold. So that's nothing to freak out about. Okay, so once you have filled that in, turn that off. Now you want to grab your whatever block that you are using. I am using um, cobblestone. <laughs> uh, for no particular reason, I just felt like using cobblestone. So I'm going to be using cobblestone. And from the middle, which this one is kind of blocking, but I'll keep that one. So we'll have to knock those out, but we'll start at another spot. So from the middle of each corner, you want to go you're going to go out 15 blocks. And always make sure that you're holding shift cuz you do not want to die. I did set up a respawn point in my Nether Tower in the overworld, so you know, even if I do fall, I can just hop back in the tower and go back up the stairs and, you know. So it's not really like a big issue issue. It would if I hadn't set a respawn respawn point so close. <laughs> uh, but let's do this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so you want to do that on all four corners. So now that you have all of your blocks coming out. I left my scaffold um, up to that point so that way I can continue working on you know the top part of this and not have to worry about how to get back down. So and then you know I could always break that later once I get everything set up. So now I'm thinking I kind of want to make like a diamond shaped instead of a circle, which is what Frilioth, I'm just going to say F, it's what that F guy, <laughs> that's so, so mean, but I know I'm butchering his name, so, uh, I'm sorry, so sorry, um, yeah, let's, let's see what shape I can actually get out of this thing, <laughs> but now we are going to set up some uh, lights, in the floor besides just the uh, torches. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to count three and place a light source there and then I think I'm going to go another three. Let's see, what is that? Three? Yes. One, two, three, and then one here. Yeah. I think I want to kind of do that for the corners. So.
Okay, guys, I am so sorry, but seems like some footage was lost, and you did not get to see me finish out this build. Uh, I'm really sorry. I thought I had actually hit the recording button at that time, but it doesn't seem like I did. So you missed out on what I was talking about as far as I did put a roof on the top of this thing to stop um, gas and magma blocks. It's um, two, well it's three blocks high and I used cobblestone, I put carpet on top, um, the pink and green carpet with some gray carpet. It's uh, scattered so it doesn't really make a shape, it's haphazard, you know. Um, I put the egg, as you can clearly see right there, there are oak trapdoors surrounding it, plus the oak trapdoors for the opening, so that way, you know, the pigmen will just walk over it and fall straight to their death. Um, I also talked about I was going to actually add a second layer to this farm, just to, um, because I had originally brought two eggs with me and that's what I was going to do, but to kind of like shorten this. Uh, video out. I just decided to do the first layer, uh, layer and let you see it and then do the second layer probably off camera and then you know talk about it in um, part three before I do um, the next build in the nether. Um, I didn't go with the circle like in Frilliuf's video. I went with more of like a diamond shape. Um, I've done diamond shape before. I like the way they look. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'd also died if I didn't get to that in the other part. Um, not, in, like, not recently, but while I was actually fin finishing out the platform, um, my finger was cramping on the shift button, and I lifted it up too quickly, and I fell and died. <laughs> uh, fun times. Fun times. But, um, yeah, this farm is working really, really well. There's still piglins up there spawning, so there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, just always make sure that you're wearing gold before you go into the nether because they are complete a-holes. And they will attack you, they will grunt at you, they will kill you. Um, and also watch out for hoglins because they are also assholes. I have not encountered them because I have not been in the other part of the nether just yet. Ugh, and I'm not even looking forward to that. <laughs> so right now I'm just, you know, up here killing me some pigs. Completely for fun. So now I have a count of three XP farms, which is awesome. I'm also thinking about making an XP farm in that village that we found in the exploration day. I believe it was part two or part three. It was a spider spawner. Um, I definitely have to set up a nether portal, which I'm going to do up on top of the nether. This is where all of the tunnels or raceways to all the different... Um, biomes is going to start up here. Uh, well, I guess I might have to make this a four-part episode so I can start putting those together because I have the same, the desert biome, I have that village. Um, I think probably put a nether portal near the ocean monument. I'm not really sure if I want to do that, but I'll, I'll think that through. But anyway, yeah. Sorry again about that lost footage, but stuff happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I need to get a new. I need to find a new uh, freaking screen recorder. So that's on the list of things to do. But I am racking in the gold. There's more on the bottom. Definitely more on the bottom. I can. Nope. Can't open that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna melt all of that down. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Adios, guys.